All right, so we've been looking now at ways to move into Jujutsu Kitame uh, via a top lock or figure four top lock. Now, the second way that we can move into Jujutsu Kitame, it's based more on speed and surprise than it is uh, than with wedges around my partner's shoulders. The figure four top or the initial top lock is the most effective way to move into a Juji from bottom closed guard. But there's a second way, which is not as effective and tight, but it is you know, relatively uh, high percentage at the, at the highest levels. And that's by just simply grabbing a wrist and throwing myself into position. Now there's a certain way that we have to do this. If I just simply grab my partner's wrist and naively try to throw my legs up, the chances of this ever landing are 0.0% .0 on, anybody, on anybody good. Okay? So what I'm gonna look to do is my partner has two hands on my, on my stomach like so. We're gonna come in and we grab either with our thumb, we physically grab our partner's wrist, or we can go in with no thumb, we can go wrist to wrist. All are pretty decent. I typically like to grab with a thumb, so when my partner goes to peel grips off, it takes a longer time, and I can start looking to switch to two on ones, and knee pull across and misdirect to go to the opposite side. So we're gonna have, our first option is we come in and we grab at the wrist. Now we scoop inside of our partner's leg. Now we hit an initial knee pull, where I hit just a slight knee pull to get my partner's weight going up over to this side. What this does is it makes it hard for her to posture up and away. So when I'm gonna throw my legs up, if she's on bat, if she's balanced, she can easily just rip the elbow out, and now she's gone. So I do an initial knee pull here, where now, as I knee pull, directly after the knee pull, my leg fires over with the intent of getting my knee higher than my partner's ear. Here. Where now, we're in the same position we were before. Now we go through any one of the movements we did before. If my partner pulls out, we can go into triangles, we can go into the legs. If my partner stacks me, we can roll through. If my partner stands up, we can roll through. We have all the options that we looked at previously from here. Okay, so we come in, my partner has two hands in, we just grab one. Now we come in and we scoop. Now, the key is to get an initial kazushi, an initial off balance. And there's no off balance when I try to throw my legs up, the elbow will always come free. So as we knee pull, everything goes over the left shoulder, out in this direction, here, okay? Now this isn't gonna be enough to make your partner necessarily post her hand on the floor, okay? If she goes to stay based out, I'm not gonna fire my partner's arm across, only if she's an idiot. Well, this hand post out on the floor, and now they can come into all kinds of attacks, all right? But most people are gonna be relatively balanced from here. But what I just need is just a slight off balance so she can't completely posture up. As I use the slight off balance, once she goes to completely posture up, it makes it difficult. Okay, again, not impossible, just like any, other, any of the other moves, but it makes it difficult. So we come in, we grab a wrist, and now we have a slight off balance. Once again, if I just go with no Kazushi, it's not gonna work. So we have a slight knee pull over the left shoulder. Now we move to a position where our lower back's off the floor. Now we can come in and go into all the previous moves. Okay, so this is more of a speed-based juji as opposed to a juji that requires wedges around my partner's shoulders where you move from a top lock to a juji. This is just a slight off balance with Kazushi, a Kazushi-based me uh, method where you just have an initial off balance, throw the leg, and then you go into winning positions.